So today, we're going to continue with the GTA 5 uh, story from where we left off last time. So let's go do the next mission. We have to drive all the way. Uh, where do we have to drive with the Trevor? Oh, we have to go all the way over here, okay. So I guess this is the next mission. And uh, I am chewing to delicious pieces of blue raspberry bubblegum, by the way. And it tastes super good. <laughs> That's fun. 
funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my cousin. I thought we were family. <laughs> Please go and ruin someone else's home. Floyd, who was that? Oh, wow. She's here. I remember. I remember everything here. Okay, so that this is cool. We're back here. So, apparently there is a lot of lore that the GTA community talks about uh, this particular scene here. Because it's not really fully explained what happens here.
driver is inside the club and he's going to the back rooms here because he plans on taking over the place. So, <laughs> amigo, prepare to meet your new partner. So yeah, Trevor basically takes over the, the nightclub here. And we gotta go. Oh wait, where are we going? Who, who's this exactly? Uh, Franklin or, oh, Michael, Michael's house. Okay. Oh, he's getting a phone call. Hey, Trevor just called me about the big one. You know anything? Okay, it's the next heist. Yeah, I told him. I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's at the Valhalla Unicorns Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. Okay, let's go change. Mission passed. Let's go change our clothes. Uh, no, it's not this room. Yo, this house feels so empty and lonely without Michael's family here. Can I, can I be honest? Like, yo, Michael, go get your family back, seriously. You're in the, you're in this, like, big mansion all alone. Kind of sad. Um. Oh, let's see. Um, let's try to give him, like, a fun, different outfit, you know? No suits this time. Yeah, let's give him some jeans. Uh, I think these kind of work. These kind of work, too. I, I'm not feeling the polo shirt right now for Michael. What do, what do we change? We need to give him, like, a middle-aged dad look, but still make him seem like he's kind of cool, you know? Just a little bit. No, definitely not the tank top. Uh, oh, wait, where was that vest? This actually kind of works. That actually kind of works. Okay. Yo, wait, 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 we need, can we give him glasses? No glasses, sunglasses. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, that actually kind of works. Let me know in the comments. I feel like this kind of works. Definitely looks a little bit cooler. Let's go. We mean business. <laughs> I think this is the first time that I've dressed Michael like this in the entire game. We've always been wearing like suits. <laughs> okay. Let's go. We gotta go see Trevor. Uh, where is this place? Okay, it's not too far. It's all the way over here. Should be a short drive. Oh, <laughs> I'm crashing everywhere today. <laughs> I'll probably have to like, you know, do a quick cut once we get to the club, but don't worry, it's not like we're gonna miss anything, like story-wise. YouTube is like really weird with like uh, content strikes right now. Like, I've seen a lot of, like, YouTubers that play GTA just cut this entire part of the game usually out, because YouTube does not play. They will flag your video. <laughs> and they didn't always do that. Like, I remember watching GTA videos, like, in 2016, and it would be cool. Like, they wouldn't really do anything, but, yeah. Nowadays, they do. <laughs> Even with the, like, uh, Call of Duty Warzone, uh, Resident Evil videos, or, like, Mortal Kombat. Like, I played Resident Evil 2, uh, the demo on the channel, and it got, like, restricted for, like, over 18 or something, just because I was shooting zombies and there was blood. So, YouTube is, like, very, very strict. I think I saw a Markiplier video about it, too, talking about it. Jacksepticeye mentioned it too. He played, he was playing a bunch of games and just got like restricted for no reason. Well, I mean, there probably was a reason, but still. Uh, okay, here we are. And let's just run in there. Dressed like this. Perfect. We'll look like the regular clientele. Okay, okay, we're going into the back rooms here to go see Trevor. Everything should be fine from here on out, I think. Well, if we go out there, that's where people are performing. And here is Trevor. Hey there, Trevor. The fridge is broken. That's alright. I've had to 
enough of your hospitality already. Man, I'm done. I want to square things away with Meriwether. Make sure the agency ain't coming back after us. And then do us one last big score. Me, I'm gonna live here. I'm gonna run this. This good business is showing people bust Brad out of prison. Be happy. Franklin, <laughs> applauding him. You must know Leon, the old manager. Leon. No. Whatever. Oh man, Trevor probably took him out. <laughs> Whoever was in here before. In a far away place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Brad was there sometimes as well. <laughs> I mean, there were other guys too. So, uh, anyway... Lester's given us the backstory, <laughs> but always dreaming of one thing and one thing only, the big one, the big one. Yo, can I just say Michael with the shades and this outfit we gave him, it kind of works. It kind of works a little bit. I'm getting kind of like a Johnny, Johnny Knoxville vibes or something, just a little bit, if any of you even know who that is. <laughs> Masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty. Find some gainful employment this way. Okay. Let's go. Oh my goodness, was that Leon? That must have been Leon. <laughs> okay, let's get into the car, and I guess we're going to be preparing for the new heist. Drive to the bank. All right. So, this is going to be like the big main heist of the game, so this is going to be the important one. Uh, let's switch over. You get different dialogue depending who you're playing with here, so we're going to be switching back and forth. We need to go... Um, oh. Coming back. We need to go get the chopper, I guess. Drive to the airfield. Twenty percent, a maximum of two hundred million. Oh my goodness! If we can get the funds diverted, you can pull it off. Wow, this is really going to be a big heist. If we can get two hundred million from that. That's crazy. <laughs> That's going to be exciting. Uh, here, let's switch over. to get some of the dialogue over here with Franklin and Michael. Went the wrong way. It's over here. Right here. So this is the bank. Wow, this is a big building right here. Security exit. That's the main entrance. Look at the bank entrance. Yeah, there's like one guard there. Definitely have more guards inside though, because it can't be just one guy outside. <laughs> Union Depository. Okay, let's go to the back entrance. Let's see if we can get over there. Let's go around the building here. Just gotta go down here. And go around this way. Whoa. Very interesting. Okay, back here. Hello there. Wow, that's a nice car. That's an old car, but it looked nice. Okay, uh... Just one guard. Yo, this place must have a million guards inside if they only have one guy outside. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Oh, and here we are at the airfield. I guess, yep, we're pulling up to the airfield. Let's go... Trevor and Lester. Whoa. Not trying to get into any more accidents. I feel like this whole game, we've been always going to the airfield for, for the chopper or like cars or trucks and stuff like that. 
like that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's go get the helicopter. Come on, run, run, run. Let's go. And here comes Lester. Okay. Fly to the, I even say that name, Marietta Heights. supposed to do with the helicopter, but let's just go. Oh, they said not to go to the prison. Oh no, the alarm is going off. Let's get out of here. No, 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 no. Okay. So is that the prison where, like, Brad is being held? Is that the prison? Let me know in the comments if that's the one. Because we just flew over them and they did not like that and the alarm was going off and everything. talking to Lester right now. I 
think they're going, yep, they're going into the building. Stand by. I was expecting you 30 seconds ago, wow. They're kind of try hard with the times, I guess, <laughs> you know. Someone's like, you're 30 seconds late. You know, they're running a very professional, you know, shift there. Now, if I remember, take us around the building and find the construction site. Okay. Around this building. I don't really see any construction. Oh, back here, back here. Okay. Is this the place? There. I see that. Hover over it. Okay. I mean, I was hovering over it. I'll turn around. Maybe, maybe they want me to get closer, or maybe to stop above it, I don't know. Hover near the construction entrance. Oh, come on. There it is. Do I have to get closer? I don't want to crash this helicopter. <laughs> right above. Oh my goodness, they're actually making me get super close. Uh, okay, if you say so. If you say so, here we go. This is super risky. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, come on, Lester, you gotta get the footage. Okay, there you see. That looks like a good place, actually. That's... Lots of clear space. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Okay. Alright, I think I've got enough information to work with. Go to the airfield. Okay, we're going back. I don't know if I want to fly back to the airfield. Maybe I'll switch to Michael. <laughs> Not a huge fan of the helicopter. Oh, it's much more relaxing to fly fast. You don't have to worry about slowing down. So this is going to be an exciting heist mission. I have a feeling. We got a backup plan. We can modify this chopper to carry the weight, but we need another one to match. Would you consider taking your name off? <laughs> the side. Wait, is Trevor's name actually on the helicopter? That's funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trevor wants it to stay there. He doesn't want to take his name off. That's such a Trevor thing to say, too. Okay. Let's switch to Michael. What are we doing? Okay, Michael's over here. Uh, take Franklin to his house. Okay, we're dropping Franklin off. At the mansion. Whoa. Okay, we got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I can depend on, and then there's Trevor. Yeah, Trevor will get it done. He will he? Yeah, I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good. Yeah, well... Oh, okay. Michael is worried about Trevor, you know, keeping it cool for the mission. He doesn't want it to go, you know, bad. Ouch. <laughs> I need to pay more attention this time. <laughs> I'm crashing everywhere. Point taken. When are you going to tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened? This ain't the time. Man, we're about to go in together on the biggest job. There's never a better time to fill me in. It gets complicated, all right? Here, let's just listen, and then we can go finish this uh, mission. Real shady. <laughs> we'll talk, all right? Just later. Okay, take Franklin home. That's good we waited, because I wanted to hear that conversation. Honestly, Michael should be telling like Franklin more stuff, I think, at this point. Especially after all the heists and stuff they've done together. <laughs> Franklin deserves, deserves the truth. Okay, well, I think that's where I'll end it for this.
this video, so thank you all for listening, for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and yeah, we'll continue the GTA 5 story next time. I am very excited. We are getting closer and closer to the end of the game. Things are starting to get crazier. The story is picking up. Who knows what's going to happen next, but I appreciate all of you for watching these videos, so thanks, and I'll see you all next time.